I was actually enjoying that one. You guys should have seen me in my steps, but yeah, can't do that now. Let's move on to our next segment. We have somebody very special with us here on the couch. Best Okudwa. Started as writer, producer, and now film director. And that's not all. This guy's racked up so many awards for his different movies, whether produced or directed or even starred in. Mm, we'll talk about that. You are welcome, Best. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be here. Grand. Good to have you here, man. First off, congratulations for all the awards in 2023. Uh, I must say 2024. I'm getting too used to 2024. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, your awards. Thank um, you. But I, I, I'd like us to talk about you from the very beginning as a writer, as a producer, and then we'll get to here. Um, I remember one of the earliest movies that you uh, made, which was Bias, if I'm not mistaken. But you say that that's not the earliest one. Yeah, not the earliest. One of the earliest, yeah. The earliest? I think that um, my first independently produced feature length film will be Hats. Hot. Yeah, yeah, and but um, my first picture ever, um, independently produced and directed. In fact, that particular project is quite funny because um, it's a 13 episode series, and I, I, I was so determined to make a picture such that I didn't only just I didn't only script, produce and directed. I was also a lead actor on the project. I was the welfare guy. The actor as well, welfare. Uh, <laughs> I was a well, the yeah. I was the welfare guy. I was the score. I was I, I was a soundtrack guy. I was literally everything, and that actually Would came you from the score yourself. Yeah. So you you are also music inclined as well. Right? Well, I can say that, but that basically came from um from a place of um heated passion. You know, I I, I desperately wanted the world to see what I can do because um, it wasn't really um, very easy to get people to give you opportunities to showcase your skill on, on that level at a time perhaps, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so, very interesting. Now, let's, let's, let's talk about, um, first of like, uh, uh, your movie for 2000, I can't remember the year now, but I'm talking about Bekma. Okay. Bekma <laughs> was a very interesting movie because it highlighted very interesting things inside our society. The story of a girl sent on an NYSE and became the superhero to which you won a couple of awards, I think multiple awards if I'm not mistaken, four or so. Yeah. Um, uh, one of those awards was the African International Film Festival. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that and the feeling after, after winning these awards. Bekma um, was shot towards the end of 2021 and went on to win um, the award for Best Nigerian Film at the AFRIF. Mm -hmm. That was the first award Bekma would win. And um, that for me was surreal because um, you would arguably say that AFRIF is like the biggest film festival yeah. in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you make a film and you get that level of recognition and honor. That's not something I want to play with. I want a kid with. It was really beautiful. And funny enough, yeah, there was a really, really um, peculiar situation. On the day of the award, um, we, we, we knew that we were nominated and um, we had high hopes that we would win. But eventually, some of the actors that came around and some of my other team members um, gave up when nearly all the categories were called and we didn't win. We were like, okay. That's it. Let's maybe. go home now. You know, let's go home. And they all left. Oh, they I did. was the only one that was left, and that was because I'm like, okay, I'm here already, you know. I might just, 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 just enjoy the show. Yeah, let's just see the show to the end, and lo and behold. Wow. Um, How many awards was it? Um, just one. Just one, okay. For Africa, yeah. Oh, um, best, okay. um, but then you went on for the Bielsa Film Festival. If I'm yeah, at the Bielsa International Film Festival, yeah. we got about five awards. Five awards. That was five. the one I saw you with so many awards, and I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you don't act much, though. You're a writer, you're a director, but you look like an actor. If, 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 if you walk in a room, people say, oh, yeah, he's probably an actor. I started as an actor, but uh, it didn't work out. Field actor. <laughs> why did it work out? I, 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 I said to someone very recently that um, it is really possible that I just didn't know what I wanted. I, yeah, that, that could have actually been the thing. I didn't know exactly what I wanted at the time. And um, I fell in love with the artistry and the artistic aspect of filmmaking. And um, I just got so carried away, so blown away. And um, I had several mentors like Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, and um, yeah. And the idea of being a film director engulfed me, mm -hmm. even though, of course, I didn't understand that the terrain were different. Okay. You know, you can actually be that level of filmmaker in Hollywood, and it's not 
exact same mm. in Nollywood. But uh, it took me a while, you okay. know. Okay. <laughs> it took me a while to learn that, yeah. But yeah. You collab with a lot of great people in your um, efforts. Um, recently, I think you collabed with uh, Osibo. If I, I, I'm... Olashade. Olashade Osibo. Yeah. And that's for 0703? The 7th of the 3rd. 7th of the 3rd. Uh, 7th of March. He's trying to come. It's, it's, it's the most amazing film you would see in 2024. Ah, I'm going to get to the movie, but uh, how's it been like working with Olashade Osibo for um, that movie, first off? Awesome. So, um, collaboration is actually the new oil. It's the new big deal because um, you would get a lot more done if you have the heart and spirit to collaborate. Bekma was also a product of collaboration. I collaborated with African Radio Drama Association Incorporation to actually make Bekma. And I'd actually collaborated with a couple of other producers to make a couple of other slates. And 0703 happens to be the most recent of them. And the collaboration with Fola Shade has been awesome. Okay. Really awesome. 0703 is out this year, 2024. Yes. Uh, what is it about again? Oh, let me guess. It's about love. Am I correct? Because you seem to have a theme going for love. From the early uh, your early movies up until now, well, maybe not love for people or a particular person, but love for like Beckman. There was a time I was being teased. I was being teased with the Inuendo Telemundo. Oh, yeah. I mean, colleagues would be like, "Oh, Telemundo <laughs> director yeah. and all that," but that is not the most um, recurring um, um, ingredient Ingredient. in my film. Mm -hmm. I, um, I I I am actually a development team filmmaker. Nice. Yeah, most of the films I make, I produce and direct at development team. And this is why I am very, very big on sustainable development. Mm -hmm. I preach it, I work it, I talk it. Mm -hmm. And I use every avenue I can to ensure that I actually spotlight social issues and then provide solutions to them. And there is no better way to do this than using films. So if you look at all of the films I have made from Time Memorial, you would see that there is usually one social issues or the other I am trying to probably yeah. shed more light on and prefer solutions to. My first ever picture, the series I talked about was on cybercrime. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So let's talk about 0703. Um, what's the premise of this movie without revealing too much? Of course I will not reveal <laughs> too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's it about? So um, we're, we're actually talking about a family-centric story that actually delves so deeply into how um, fragile if families, if family units can be mm. in the wake of um, problems, spiritual, physical, mental, otherwise. Mm. You know, you, you, you never, you, you would think so most of the time that love is enough to actually, you know, you know heal, mend, and make a lot of things just work oh, until you're, yeah, mm. until you're faced with certain issues. And 0703 is a realistic expose of what, um, yeah, a realistic expose of what the typical um, African family unit is and the kind of issues that we have to deal with on a daily, we're, we're from spiritual see. issues to mental issues and how we end up tackling them successfully or not. We're we going to see it streaming or... Um, so 0703 is definitely going to the theaters in 2024. Okay. Definitely. Grand. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait, I can't wait to show you, trust me. Wow, that's good. Um, I see you're wearing your ring. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, everybody's wearing their ring in 2024. I'm saying this because Kunle Remy just got married and uh, his wife put out something, which we talked about today on the show. Said something about, uh, don't don't come and get my own. What do you think about that real quick? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you well and congratulations. And congratulations to you on 0703. We can't wait to see it. Thank you very much for coming over here on Wake Up Nigeria. It's uh, grand having you and talking about your entire um, uh, work. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to be here. Yes, indeed. Now stay tuned. We've still got one small bit left in Wake Up Nigeria. We'll be back after the break and you guys are going to be having it.